Hello crafty friends, welcome to this little bonus video. In this morning's video I made this card as part of my 6x6 paper pad series and I cut lots of strips to make this one card and I had lots and lots of strips left over so I thought I would use them all up rather than have them in my project pack probably getting all scrunched and scrumpled and end up unusable. So that's what I did. I stuck all of those strips onto some cardstock in the same way that I did for this one. And then I made some other cards and those are the cards that I'm going to show you right now. So that's card number one, the one we made in today's video. So this is card number two and it was super simple. First of all, I took a stitched circle die, this one here, and I embossed it onto my card front. So I popped it on there and ran it through my die cutting machine with the embossing sandwich. So it didn't cut the circle out, but made the indentations. And I thought that would make a really nice focal area. And then I took this die, not sure of the manufacturer. I think it might be Crafter's Companion, but I got this from a charity shop, so it didn't have any packaging with it. And all I did was cut from some of my strips the high, stuck it on some craft foam, added it over the circle, and then added some gold dots for a bit of bling in the background and to add a bit of diagonal flow. Now this is card number three, and this was even easier. I took some of my leftover strips and just stuck them straight on the card blank. So this is a single layer card, if you like. So these are all stuck straight on the card blank. I did use my T-square ruler to make sure the tips were all in a line. I then used walnut stain to stamp sorry you're leaving on and added some gold circles. Now the position of the gold circles isn't how I really wanted them but I accidentally dropped the ink pad lid on the card and made some splodges here and here so uh, it's the best of a bad job really, <laughs> so I would have maybe concentrated the circles on here or something if I'd added them. But they're there just to cover up a mistake. For card number four, I took these label dies, which I believe are from L Studio. This one is a Sizzix die, and cut some labels or partial labels. I didn't have much paper left, so I just cut partial labels and stuck them on. So I've got lots of lovely white space. I've got a thank you stamped in there, and that, along with the gold circles, drags the eye to this little focal point there. I stamped this in black ink because I felt it needed to be a little more attention grabbing and walnut stain I think would have uh, blended in a little bit too much. For card number five I used leaf dies and there is another one of these dies but I can't see it right now and all I did was cut some leaves from the stripy cardstock, put them in a cascading fashion down the card and then added a thinking of you. I think this has got a kind of sombre vibe so I think it would make a nice thinking of you card for perhaps a sad occasion. On to card number six and very simple again I used this stitch banner die to cut out a banner, popped it in the bottom half of this four by six inch card blank, cut a white cardstock banner or label using this Sizzix die again, layered it on, added a gold foiled fern and then stamped thanks in walnut stain and added some dots. So this is my focal area. We've still got some nice white space up here and you've still got all that lovely pattern, but it's kind of toned down a little bit because of this white label here. And last but not least, card number seven. Again, I used some label dies and I put some down here. So two stripy labels and one white label and one label up here. So I've got a hierarchy. I've got this large cluster here and then this smaller one here and a diagonal going on. I used this, which is from an Etsy shop to cut a gold foiled branch. Added a Just For You stamp in walnut stain again and then added on some gold circles. Now I always get asked about this so I will leave a link in the video description to where I got this from. It is such a useful die. 
It's a great cover plate die, but it also cuts all these beautiful circles in a variety of sizes, which make great little embellishments and mean I'm never going to have to buy enamel dots or sequins ever again. So we've got seven cards from the card making session that I had. And to create the seven cards, I used 10 sheets of paper, one from each pattern for the, from this pad, plus a brown sheet and a minty green sheet from my stash. I think that's a pretty good crop of cards for 12 little pieces of paper. Right, I hope you found this little bonus video helpful. It's given you some more ideas of some things you can do with your strips that you've cut from your six by six paper pad. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.